Sleeping Giants is an anonymous Twitter group that, despite its name, is likely comprised of mental midgets. In any event, Sleeping Giants doesn't like the rebel, and instead of agreeing to disagree with us, this group is putting pressure on advertisers to pull ads from our website. The ostensible policy reason for this attempted boycott is that the rebel is too extremist. Yeah, extremist. Evidently, that's code speak for having a right of center viewpoint these days. A handful of companies are indeed choosing to shun Rebel Media. Hey, it's their right to do so, and truthfully, their absence won't hurt us. But in acquiescing to a group like the Sleeping Giants, do these companies realize who they're hopping into bed with? Put another way, do the rank and file of Antifa, for example, patronize Porter Air, one of the companies that has admitted to putting Rebel Media on a blacklist? I doubt it. For what it's worth, I think the unkindest cut of all comes courtesy of the Hudson's Bay Company. In a recent Globe and Mail article, HBC confirmed it had adjusted its ad buying to prevent its ads from appearing on Rebel Media. The company didn't explain why, and their media spokeswoman won't return my emails seeking clarification. But I single out HBC because back in February, the Rebel actually went to bat for the Bay. You see, some Bay stores were being picketed by a group of loons called the Peeved Beavers. They were pressuring the Bay to drop the Ivanka Trump line of designer clothing because, well, <laughs> they hate President Trump. Check out what one savvy Peeved Beaver had to say. Oh, you're one of the Peeved Beavers, I, right? I am. I'm a Peeved Beaver, indeed. Now, what's peeving you off, ma'am? Oh, boy. Um, so much. It's a heavy time. Uh, I don't believe that Canada has uh, the values that we're seeing be allowed, I guess, uh, such big voice in the States under Donald Trump. Um, it upsets me that Hudson's Bay has not taken a stand as Nordstrom has uh, to not uh, support Ivanka Trump and her line of clothing. I mean, when you think of all the things, I guess, facing women in so many countries around the world, is this really such a big deal? Absolutely it is. I mean, you have to start somewhere. You have to fight all forms of oppression. This is oppressive. The message from the Trump government and Ivanka, because she's his first lady, you know, uh, is... I don't think she's a first lady, well, right? She's, she's performing the duties that a for first lady normally does. And this is well documented in the press. Um, so by fighting against something, like Trump is, is a misogynist, right? So if I protest against his daughter and that brand and that information that they support, then I am fighting for women's rights and the rights of everyone. When I look at a country, say Saudi Arabia, yes. a woman can't drive, can't vote, has to completely cover herself in a fabric. I mean, to me, that seems far more misogynistic than anything coming out of the White House. Oh, I disagree entirely. Oh, absolutely. Grab her by the pussy. You think that's acceptable? We don't well, that was locker room talk, but by the same token, you're calling yourself the Peeve Beavers. Yeah. Well, isn't funny. that a, uh, a, a slur word for female genitalia as well? Um, I guess we're co-opting the name. It's satirical. The eye of Sauron is upon us! Oh, did you catch that last comment in the background? The eye of Sauron is upon us? Yeah, Donald Trump is apparently the villain from The Lord of the Rings. What a bunch of nuts. However, I decided to take a stand against this left-wing lunacy by, well, literally putting my money where my mouth is. Check it out. Well, folks, prior to meeting the Peeve Beavers, I never really gave much thought to the Ivanka Trump line of designer clothing. But after speaking to the Peeve Beavers, I have to admit, they did indeed influence my thoughts. Influenced me to purchase this Ivanka Trump number for Lady Menzoid. I think she'll look fabulous. Leave it to beavers indeed. So in the final analysis, the Bay is appeasing squeaky wheels who, in all likelihood, aren't even Hudson's Bay customers to begin with, and are actually advocating that consumers boycott the Bay. Yet at the same time, the Bay shuns those who are defending the store's right to sell whatever they choose. Yeah, it makes sense to me too, folks. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Like what you just saw? Then click subscribe below and never miss another Rebel video.